Scorpio, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emily's Tarot. This is energies and messages from the universe through me towards you. Okay. This is your general tarot reading. It is a sun moon rising reading. Okay. Let's see who and what you're dealing with. Getting for a lot of you, love is uh, high on your priorities. I'm getting this kind of a sudden change in the situation. Travel for some of you, moving on. Mutual mm -hmm. consent. Here we go. You. Spontaneous decision. Okay, resulting from a spontaneous impulse. What I'm getting is here something. <laughs> you're perhaps in a connection, or this person's perhaps in a connection, or perhaps you're both in connections. All right, whatever your situation, the energy is with this Knight of Wands. Okay, a sudden impulse to connect. Right, this could be this person coming in trying to pick up. It's a bit of a player type energy, not necessarily an ex, not necessarily a past person. Could be somebody you work with. Could be somebody you met on holiday. But what I'm getting here most of all, uh, there's the need here for like a spontaneous reaction here. But the problem is that I'm getting here, there's somebody else involved in like a third party energy. Perhaps that third party energy is in the form of a, a parent, a sister, a brother, a child, not necessarily another lover. Okay. Okay. There is the two of wands, okay. How are you going to react? Okay. I'm kind of getting there very cautious. They're kind of in the energy where you can be with me, but nothing's going to change my side. You know, you accept me as a kind of like a package which produces kind of a player type energy. Mm. Your need is for the truth. Speaking the truth and hearing the truth. Mm -hmm. This is a decision I'm kind of getting that needs to be a very individual decision in the sense of a logical decision and an intuitive decision rather than an emotional decision here you're becoming very very independent i'm kind of getting there's perhaps been a bit of codependency a lot of attraction here a lot of passion took place or is taking place okay and you kind of realize it's not doing you any good there's no particular emotional growth out of it okay and it, it's kind of like a, a very lively connection that keeps flowing. It's a very fast moving connection, but it's not evolving. It's not going past a certain point here. Mm. Well, their intentions is the Ten of Swords. Well, Mm, Ten of Swords energy. They want to talk to you about, you know, going away forward. But as I say, they're trying to explain to you that uh, things can't change or won't change on their side, which puts you in the dilemma of whether to end it or whether to talk to them and then say, OK, let's just go with the flow kind of energy. I mean, the relationship is based one of choices. Is to some degree, I'm kind of getting it's based on fantasy. It's you know, if some of you are living at a distance, and it would it would mean relocation, perhaps even overseas to another country. Okay, for some of you, relocation full stop. Okay, but either way, it's because of your relative situations. How the hell are we actually going to make this work on the practical level? 
there's you know a fresh start but it's like a carefree energy are you willing to take that plunge now for some of you this could be a difficult situation because it could be a soulmate connection okay but uh despite that my view of soulmate connections and twin flames all right they, they teach us an awful lot about ourselves it's like a, a spiritual wake-up call and nine times out of ten soulmates and twin flames they're kind of from my point of view they're a pain in the butt because they are alert they're brought in by the universe so you can actually learn about yourself not an automatic license to drink pina coladas on the beach watching sunsets okay you know I'm, this is just my humble opinion other tarot readers have their beliefs but my belief is that it's not an automatic license with a soul male twin flame to settle down have kids the, the nine to five job the big house whatever to me that's not how it works you know, soulmate, twin flame, it's a spiritual connection, not necessarily a physical connection. Here on Kind of Get In, there is the chance to keep this person in your life, but with this full energy here, it's kind of like no strings attached. With this Queen of Swords here, perhaps you're being a bit idealistic. You know, because there's a lot of fantasizing going on between you two. A lot of dreams and ambitions. There's a lot of passion going on in between you two. Why is this Knight of Wands here? The lovers, yeah. Getting some kind of peace, mutual agreement. You you do feel this connection is not going to develop. It's not going to evolve because of obligations elsewhere. Perhaps on your side or our side. They could be married. You could be married. You know, completely different countries. Well, why is the two of ones here? They're very cautious. You know, they are coming to you or you very slowly. They do want you in their life, but phew. It's it's like with a lot of strength and determination. They're poised and ready to talk to you, but I'm kind of getting they're not willing to commit. They're very self protective. Why is this Queen of Swords here? You know, they're on about preserving their lifestyle as well. They're being driven by passion. Okay. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah bringing your ideals into reality perhaps a diplomatic approach Whew. it's like you want them to mature up if they come in more mature then you're willing to give it a whirl but other than that I'm kind of getting you feel this isn't going to go anywhere well, wow. why is this Ten of Swords here? Yeah, just this card, making choices. Yeah, it's not just a simple forward connection here. There's other people involved. Okay. Whatever decision, they're, whatever situation they're in, regardless of whether they're married or with a work situation, I'm kind of getting that they they are intended to end it, but they they because because they they've been through a kind of a decade of of a rough life, they're in no mood for committing. They want fun. Okay. They and if you want to be with them, it's kind of like they want it my way or the highway type of energy. 
they do want you in their life, but they're not willing to commit. This is the thing. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Swords. A lot of stress, you see. A lot of fantasising. A refusal to accept each other's terms. And it's producing a very self-protective situation here. What's this full card? Magician. Well, it's kind of like, do you want to take the plunge or not? With a no strings attached attitude. It's not what you communicate, it's how you communicate. Okay. You're kind of very passionately attracted to each other, but this person is kind of saying, I'm not going to commit. Not in the sense you want. Thanks very much for watching.